Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to be creating a watercolor floral calendar design in Adobe Illustrator. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. And it's got four colors that we're going to be using. The watercolor floral graphics are part of my watercolor florals kit, um, but I do offer a free mini watercolor florals kit if you want to kind of play around with them beforehand. So be sure to hit the link in the video description and you can have access to that free mini kit. Okay, so the colors that we're going to be using, let me give these to you before we get started. So we're going to be working in CMYK because the intent of this is to print it from your home printer and the majority of home printers print in CMYK. So that is why we're working in CMYK. So here is the light color, the purple, the pinkish orangish color, and the medium blue. So I'm going to copy these so we can use them in the new document. And I've got all of my keystrokes on screen so you can have them throughout this entire video. So we're gonna go file new and we're gonna input eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches high or an A4 size paper. And we want it to be portrait orientation for this. And bleed is really up to you. If you don't mind having white edges around your print, then you can just leave this at zero. But if you have a borderless printer or if you wanna cut this out later so all of your graphics go straight to the edge, then just input 0.125 right here. And our color mode is once again CMYK, so hit create. And now we have our new document. I'm going to paste in those color builds and I'm also going to turn on our rulers. So hit Command R or Control R on a PC. And now we've got our rulers right here. So the first thing we're going to do is create the calendar itself. So I'm going to walk you through my process for creating this. Um, everybody's got a different way of doing it, but this is the way that I like to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go View, Show, Grid. And the grid will help us make our calendar, the actual dates, much quicker and much easier. So you want to make sure that these grid spacings are the same as mine and in order to do that just come over here to illustrator go preferences guides and grid and just make sure where it says grid line every put in one inch right here and then put in four subdivisions it just makes the math a lot easier just to keep everything really consistent as you work so hit ok and now we're going to start building that calendar and it's going to be a little off center at first but we're going to correct it and everything's going to turn out great so the first thing you want to do is just make a rectangle so hit m on your keyboard and we're just going to draw a rectangle let me make sure i'm going to hit this over here so I've got a black stroke so I can see everything really well, but I don't need a fill. So I'm just going to hit this icon with the fill in the front, hit that. And now we're just going to be working with a black stroke right here. So I'm going to draw out and I want to make sure I have seven squares right here for the seven days of the week. And then I'm going to go five high for the weeks. So stretch this across three, four, five, six, seven, and then five down. Okay, so once you have this, now we're gonna draw out our other lines. So I'm gonna hit the backslash key on my keyboard and I'm just gonna stretch out a line. Actually, let's do these ones first, the days. So bring it down and if you wanna zoom in just to make sure everything is super lined up, you can just grab this line, hold shift to keep it straight and then you wanna draw another one right over here. And then we have one, two, three, four lines in between them. So just grab your selection tool and then double click on your blend tool and choose specified steps and then put in that number. There's four lines that we need in between these two lines. So hit okay. And then you're just gonna click on one line and you're gonna click on the other line and it's gonna put them all in there perfectly spaced apart. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the weeks. So I'm gonna hit my backslash key on my keyboard and I'm gonna come over to this line I'm gonna draw it out as I'm dragging, hold shift to keep it straight, and then I'm gonna do it again right down here. Okay, so this time I have two lines in between, so I'm gonna to return to my blend tool and change this to two, hit okay, and then click on one of them, click on the other one. And now we've got our grid nice and quick. So the next thing we need to do is put in the space for our our weekdays to go in. So the way that I do this is I actually draw another line on top of this top box that we originally drew. So I'm just gonna draw out another line. Then I'm gonna click anywhere to deselect everything and then I'm just gonna click on this side of the box so I know I'm selecting the box. And then I'm just gonna drag this up. I think I'm gonna go like a box and a half. And then I need to drag these weekday lines up. So hit V select any of these and they're already grouped together since we blended them and then you can just drag this up 
so they're separated. Okay, so the days of our week are gonna go right in here, which you can see right here. Let me zoom in. And then the last thing we have to do is put in our dates and color it, and then we're done with the calendar part. So this part goes pretty quickly. So the first thing we wanna do is type in one of the days of our week. So we're gonna type in Sunday, and I am going to make this my font, um, Miss Magnolia, which I'll also leave a link to in the video description. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that this is centered right here and I can center this up. And if I wanna make sure that it's centered completely, I can just draw my own box right here and then hold shift and also select Sunday and then just click on the box one more time so we keep this perfectly in line with it and hit your horizontal line center and that will perfectly align it in this box. And then the next thing we wanna do is take this and we wanna move it to the exact same position in all of these other boxes so we don't have to keep centering everything every time. So a really quick way to do that is to just right click on Sunday, make sure it's selected first and choose transform move. And since we know that each one of these boxes is an inch wide, we wanna move it one horizontal inch and nothing vertically. So you can see it's perfectly positioned right here, but we don't wanna move it, we wanna copy it. So to hit copy, and then if you hit Command D or Control D on your keyboard, it will repeat the same thing. So we've got them all at once. And now since it's already centered, since we did this up here before, now whatever I type here will also remain centered. So now I can type in all the rest of my days of the week. Okay, so that's all set. And now we need to put in the numbers of the days of our week. First, let's change the color of all of these. To, I'm gonna group them all together so they remain together. If I ever need to grab them or change colors later on, it'll be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna group them. And then I, let's see what color I chose here. We've got the pink orange right here. So I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard, eyedropper those. And now we're gonna do the days of the week. So what I like to do is I just type out um, the number one and get it the size that I want it. And I position it right into this first box right here. So that looks good. And I'm gonna also change the color at the same time. I'm gonna make this this medium blue. So you can see I've put in my number one right in this first box. And we wanna do the exact same thing that we just did for the days of the week. So I'm gonna keep it selected, right click, transform, move. And this time, once again, we're gonna move it one horizontal inch and nothing vertical. And we're gonna hit copy. And then we're just gonna hit command D and that's gonna copy it over. And then um, now we need this copied for the rest of the days of the month. So now we're gonna select each one of these one more time. And in the same way that we move them across, we're gonna move them down. So all these are selected and I'm gonna right click, transform, move. Only this time I'm gonna go zero horizontally, but I'm gonna move it one inch down. And you can see in the preview, it's moving down. And we wanna make sure it's a copy again, so make sure you hit copy, don't hit okay, hit copy. And then once again, we're gonna hit Command D to repeat what we just did. And now you can go into all these numbers, decide whatever day of the week that the month starts on. Let's say it's gonna start on a Tuesday. And now I'm gonna change out all of these numbers. So all I have to do is hit the T key on my keyboard to access my type tool and then I can just go in and select each one of these and put in all the days of the month. Okay, so we've got all our days and then just delete any excess ones that you have and you can see they're all perfectly positioned since we took care of that at the very beginning. So now's the time to recolor your calendar. If you'd like to keep it as an outline, you can recolor just the outline or you can change it to a color with white lines like I have right here. So in order to do that, first we want to make the regular box the first thing that we drew in this document. You can see we've got it as a stroke. We're just gonna switch this to a fill and then hit I on your keyboard for the eyedropper and then choose this light blue. And now we can just choose all of our lines that we had. So with all these selected, I'm gonna click on my stroke right here, hold shift, 
and then just eyedropper the paper and that'll change it to white. And now I'm going to group all of this together. So when I move it, everything moves together. So Command G or Control G on a PC. Okay, so now we just wanna make sure that this is centered, which obviously it's not. But you can see that since we have four on this side and two on this side, all we have to do is come over one more square over here and it'll be perfectly centered, which is really awesome. This grid makes it super easy to keep things centered. So we've got three squares wide over here, three squares wide over here. So we are all set. We know that our calendar is centered on our document. So now we can, we don't have to have this grid here anymore if it's a little distracting. So just go view, hide grid, and it'll go away. And now we're back to working on a plain white sheet of paper. So I'm gonna move this down. And now all we have to do is add in the decoration. So all I have to do is drop in the month's name. So I'm just gonna type in month's name right here and make it nice and big. And I like having it in alignment with the left side. So if you wanna pull a guide right here so you can see where that left side hits and just make it a little more exact, you can do that. And then the name of this, I'm gonna make this purple, just so it stands apart from the calendar a little bit better. All right, and then we just need to drop in our watercolor florals. So I'm just gonna go File, Place. Okay, so the one that I'm using is from my Watercolor Leaves and Florals kit, and it is Floral Laurel 04, and it is the blue-orange version. You can see um, there's three color variations of every single laurel, corner, and bouquet and wreath. So we are grabbing the blue orange one and just hit place and it's gonna drop in. And now I can just rotate it. And if you hold shift when you rotate, it rotates in 45 degree increments, which makes rotation really easy. And then you're just gonna scale it up or scale it down, rotate it, whatever you need to do to fit it into place the way that you like it. I think that feels pretty good. And if you'd like another copy, um, so I could just take all of this down and just have the one floral element here if I wanted to, which that looks really nice too. Or I could um, make a copy of this and have kind of a border going on. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna rotate this again and then I can just drop this into place. And I actually kind of like it when I've got some of these floral elements overlapping parts of the calendar. It just feels a little more dynamic, um, like it's all a part of the same thing. But if you have something important going on on this day where you kind of run out of room with writing it in, um, you can just send this to the back and then you'll be fine too. So it's whatever you prefer. I like having it in front as long as I'm not intruding on any of these numbers. So that looks like a good placement. I like keeping it the same scale too so it doesn't feel a little off balance. Um, and you can also, since this is all grouped, if you wanna just toggle it up a little bit, you can do that too since we grouped it all together. It makes it really easy to do that. All right, so that looks good. And from here, you can just print it out directly or you can save it as a PDF um, with trim marks if you wanna do the borderless option. So that's how to create a watercolor floral calendar design in Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies like that free watercolor mini kit. And the full watercolor floral kit is available right in the link in the video description. So click there and you'll have access to both of those. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.